Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, done the chief building action. Happy New Year. Happy countdown to New Year. <laughs> well, here's the deal. I've just been kind of doing a little loafing today. Ah. This cruising has been a long week, man. I tell you what. Well, let's see. My last couple days off, I got hosed because Falcon brought that F-18 over. So I ain't had a day off in what two months. Ah, hi. We got my party on now. Now this is my New Year's Eve right here. And this is where I want to be. Get my party on right here in the shop. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue this flap on. It's good to go, man. Let me sand this edge right here. And uh, it'll just be easier, especially remember this is the prototype, guys. All right, let's just keep that in mind before you go cussing. <laughs> No, actually, you can get a better paint job like this. Your paint matches. Just got to be a little more careful about a couple things. I'll show you. When we get to that stage. Let's go ahead and sand them bad boys smooth. Just in case it lives past its maiden. <laughs> Oh, it will. I don't have any doubts whatsoever. This Thunder Chief's going to take off to the wild blue yonder and do what it was designed to do. Home disguise. You know what I mean? That P200 is going to be plenty of power. A 40 pound plane. Yeah, we're talking performance. You get that thrust ratio. You know, that thing's cruising with a full tank of gas. <laughs> a lot of these jets, you know, even my old F 18. That first few laps, you know, you take off, took it a lap to really get up to speed good because of the fuel load. I uh, Plus I had an extra tank in it, you know. I had that thing crammed with fuel. And uh, that first couple of laps, you know, especially that first lap, you know. And then that's a 35 pounder in it. Once you got half that fuel burnt off though, that jet really started performing, man. That's when you can start going vertical and stuff. But the full load of fuel on my F-18 wouldn't go vertical. Not for very long, anyway. Okay. I'm going to mix me up some more epoxy. I'm also going to do something just in case, little insurance. Just a frickle of oil, man. Just a. I'm gonna wipe some of it off. Just to put on the front. Just in case any. Then I'm gonna wipe it off, so. Just to leave a little bit of oil film on there, just in case that epoxy oozes out. We don't wanna glue nothing solid. Even if I gotta get in there with some. Uh, solvent afterwards you clean it up and it's still worth it. Okay. Now you gotta see this. Yeah. I think it begins. Same thing. Get some epoxy on that. Twirl it. Keep it keeps it on there. Big old drop right in that hole. Out. 
Yeah, I was, uh, when I was putting these wings together, I was kind of preparing myself to put a pin in them. So this, this hunk of plywood right here, that's quarter inch that the pin's going into. So we're good to go. And inside that, I got big wood inside where them hinges go. It's going to glue really well. Okay, now, strip some of that glue off of there. Now I like to just put, man, I don't put very much on these hinges themselves. I know it's going to, we don't want it to ooze out, but I just want to make sure it's covered good. It's kind of just, uh, Priming it, you know. Okay. Yeah, put this bad boy on there. Got to go now. Can't answer the phone. Can't answer the door. Got to go. Okay. Let's make sure it ain't gushing out. No. Not gushing. Five minute epoxy, by the way. A little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. Hope y'all are planning a nice, safe New Year's. I sure wish everyone a nice, safe New Year's out there. Be careful. Don't be out there drinking and driving on amateur night. Call me, I'll come get you. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Start a drunk taxi cab service for <laughs> New Year's night. Shoot, give me 20 bucks, I'll come get you. 